tell me. Would you build a house without checking the blueprints? Then why develop products without testing the prototype first? Rushing into development without testing is a recipe for frustration, wasted resources, and bad UX. Catching usability issues early is always cheaper and easier than fixing them later. Today, I'll teach you how to test your prototypes. Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. On this channel, I share our team's expertise in the UX research field. Give us a follow and learn everything UX. Prototype testing is all about testing the usability of a solution before it's built. It helps UX designers identify friction points and refine user flows. Instead of making assumptions, we validate designs with real users. The goal is to catch problems early when they're easy to fix. Imagine you are designing a prototype for an e-commerce website. The website is almost ready to be launched. But then, during prototype testing, you discover that users struggle with the checkout process. Fixing that in the prototype stage is relatively simple. Fixing it after the website is launched, that's a nightmare. Some teams skip prototype testing because they're short on time or budget. Others assume their designs make sense, but skipping it often leads to delays and reworks. Even a quick small scale test can reveal major usability issues. It's always better to fix problems early rather than patch them later. Not every prototype needs to be pixel perfect. The level of detail depends on what you're testing. Low fidelity prototypes like wireframes or clickable sketches are great for testing user flows. They help confirm if users understand the layout and process before adding visuals. Mid fidelity prototypes include more details like navigation, a better visual structure, and more complex flow oriented interactions. They work well when testing site structure and user journeys. High fidelity prototypes look and feel like the final product. These are best for summative usability testing for validating the final design before development. Now think about your goals. If you're testing an early concept, don't waste time on polished visuals. If you're refining micro interactions, a detailed prototype is necessary. A UX researcher testing a brand new app idea might use rough sketches or wireframes. A designer fine tuning a booking system might use a near final interactive prototype. The key is testing what matters at each stage. If you have a large prototype, don't test everything at once. Users can get lost in unrelated parts, making feedback less useful. Instead, focus on what you need to validate. If you're testing a checkout flow, don't send users to the homepage first. Drop them right into the process you want to observe. Keep tasks relevant to your hypothesis. Having the right people to test your prototype is key. If you are prototyping a new feature and already have an active user base, ask them for feedback. If you don't, you can reach out to people in online communities, or you can use specialized recruitment panels. UX Tweak, for example, offers a user panel. With our panel, you don't have to worry about anything. We will find and recruit your target participants, and we will manage the incentives payout. The link is in the description. The best way to conduct prototype testing is by using online prototype testing tools. Most of such tools have integrations with design platforms such as Figma. These tools help you structure your research. They also assist with analyzing results and calculating important metrics, such as the success rate, time spent on tasks, and others. If you are looking for a good prototype testing tool, try UX Tweak. The link for the sign up is in the description. Once testing is done, you need to analyze the data. Look at task success rates. Did users complete the task as expected? Measure how long they took. If a simple action takes too long, there's likely a friction point. Identify error patterns. Where do users struggle the most? If available, watch the study recordings. What exactly did users do? What did they mention when thinking out loud? 
Have they suggested any solutions? If you're not testing your prototypes, you will have to face costly and time-consuming redesigns. And the chances of your product having a good user experience are quite slim. So whether you are designing a simple new feature or a new complex app, don't skip prototype testing. Like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you next time.